there have been reports of PS5 owners being unable to access the PlayStation Network. Such issues typically have harmless root causes and vanish as the servers are fixed. However, there may be situations where the PSN is completely unreachable to certain users. These are some of the things you can try if your PS5 is having trouble connecting to the PSN or if you're getting an error message when you try to visit the PSN. By the way, please like and share our videos to help those who might have the same issues so that we can help them too. Once you're done, then let's begin. First, install the latest software update. Verify that your PS5 can access the internet and then check for a software update. Using this method to correct problems that have already been discovered is the quickest and least complicated option. Here are the steps you need to do to update your PS5. Make sure that your PS5 is connected to the internet. Go to Settings. Go to System. Go to System Software. Go to System Software Update and Settings. Go to Update System Software. Next, check the PSN server status. If you have already updated your system, then you should look into any possible server problems. To check the PSN status, go to their official status page. If there is currently an issue with any of the PSN services, you should be able to tell from this page. Sony is known to respond quickly to server outages, so all you have to do is wait for the problem to be fixed. Next, check your internet connection speed. If the server is reporting no problems, the next step is to check your connection to determine the source of the issue. If your internet connection speed is slow, that might affect your online experience with your games or when trying to access the PlayStation Network. To do that, follow these steps. Go to Settings. Go to Network. Go to Connection Status. Select Test Internet Connection. Identify the source of the malfunction once the speed test is complete. The Obtain IP Address, PlayStation Network Sign-In, Internet Connection, Connection Speed are the four potential failure points. Next, double-check your PSN account. It's important to double-check that your account email and password are right after updating the console if you're still unable to connect to the PSN. To do so, simply exit your PSN account and re-enter your credentials. Try checking into your PSN account from a different device like a smartphone or computer if you're having problems. Next, use another PSN account. If your PS5 still can't connect to the PSN at this time, check to see if it's because your account has been banned or suspended. Try connecting to the PSN with a different PlayStation account if you have one. If the second PSN account works, you need to get help with your main account by calling Sony. Next, reboot your modem or router. Sometimes, restarting the router is all it takes to fix a minor connection problem on the PS5. If the router is left on for a long time, it can stop working like any other electronic device. Make sure you unplug the router from its power source and turn it off for 30 seconds. This will let the system fully start up again. Next, check for slow connection or low bandwidth. If you have other devices connected to the internet at the same time, you might want to disconnect them. If your PS5 can connect to PSN normally when none of your other devices are using the internet, you have a low bandwidth situation. It just means that your network can't handle all of the devices trying to connect at once. Next, connect the PS5 to the router by Ethernet. If you want to play online games on your PS5, an Ethernet link to the router is the best way to connect. If you can't connect your PS5 to the router with a LAN cable, try moving it closer to the router to see if it can't get a good Wi-Fi signal. Next, open ports in your router. In simple terms, ports are where two software connections meet. If your router doesn't let the necessary PSN ports through, your PS5 can't talk to the PSN servers at all. Here are the ports on your router that need to be opened. If you don't know how to open a port also called port forwarding, you should ask your internet service provider for help. Next, get help from your ISP. If none of the solutions in this guide work, there may be a deeper problem with your network or your internet service provider that is blocking the PSN. Make sure you call your ISP and tell them what's going on. That's it. If you think that this video is helpful, we would appreciate it. If you can leave a like or comment, subscribe to our channel or share this video to your friends. This can greatly help in making Google's algorithm can find and recommend this video to others.